Back in November, there was a 2017 Ionic owner who got an invoice for $50,000 Canadian to replace an EV battery. And then Zach and Andrea from the Motormouth YouTube channel reported another Hyundai EV owner faced a $60,000 bill to replace a damaged battery, which was more than the list price of a brand new car. So after that news became hot on the internet, another Ionic owner reported to Motormouth that she also got a $60,000 bill to repair the damaged battery pack. With all these news, I was thinking, how much will it cost to replace the batteries on my NX 450H Plus, the plug-in hybrid which has as much smaller in comparison battery to the Ionic 5 battery pack? And since we're at it, we'll check out all the other Lexus and Toyota batteries on the hybrids to see what kind of damage would it be to your wallets if you ever damage the battery pack. Hey, it's LSF here today, and today I'm going to go through a bunch of Google searches to see if I can find out the cost of hybrid, plug-in hybrid, and BV batteries for Lexus and Toyota. I'll be focusing more on Lexus. I'll pull some Toyota ones out as well. So let's get to it and see what the cost is it going to be if you ever had to replace the battery. It's so now I've gone through many websites really search Google searching around to find the battery parts for every single vehicle that I, I think there's a hybrid component or a plug-in hybrid component or even the BEVs. So I'm going to start off with this list here. I'm going to put on the right side where I have the URLs. I want to have a screenshot of where I found it when I've gone through every single piece. I have the MSRP for US and Canadian. Some of them are actually not MSRP but it may actually be um, a deal or something because it, this is actually very hard to get around the world uh, trying to get information that is not really publicly available for us okay so and i've also noticed before i start there is discrepancy between prices um, i was quite surprised to see the rz450e being that cheap but then when i went to the subaru looking at the similar part number and it scared me really but we'll talk about that when we get there all right so let's start off with rx the 2006 to 2008 so we can see the rx 400h we have found this part number and the ms rp is about four thousand eight hundred forty seven dollars and in canadian it's five thousand eight hundred seventy eight so i'll be sharing this spreadsheet on the description below and you can actually click on it to see what battery part that is all right, so then 2008, for some reason, they issued a new part number for the RX 400H. Pricing is the same, but it seems like they did some tweaks in 2008. Then 2010 to 2015, the RX 450H, many of them are still on the road, 4993 Canadian $6,000. Follow me on Instagram at LSFT videos. You can see updates on my experience with the NX 450H Plus, which may not be shown on any future videos. You can also reach out to me via direct messaging if you have any questions on your Lexus. If you like this video, you can provide me feedback in the comments below, like this video, and share it with your friends. This definitely will help me with the YouTube algorithms. Press the subscribe button and bell icon and get notified when new videos show up. And lastly, if you want to support me further, you can provide me a super thanks, which is greatly appreciated. And now let's continue with the video. Then 2016, 2022, the RX 450H. So you can see that there's a change here, and this is really the previous generation RX, $5,000. So roughly we're talking about the same price for the RX hybrids. But then when you look at 2023, so this is the new model year for the RX. So we have the RX 350, which is the gas model, doesn't have any batteries. We have the 2023 RX 350H. And I actually got $10,000 from parts.lexus.ca.com. But then when I looked at, into the Canadian prices, it's $5,600.
I'll probably have to post that link here for the Canadian one. So I don't know if this is a discrepancy or this is just because the parts are very hard to get at this point. So now you've seen I've added the Canadian uh, links here. So you can see $5,700 roughly. And then you look at the 2023 RX 500H. Different part number, same scenario here. US is $10,000, but Canada is only $6,000. So I don't know where that difference is. And then we come to the elf in the room, the plug-in hybrid, the much bigger battery, 2023 RX 450H Plus. And you would see very similar numbers here. Uh, so this is the 48130, and it's almost 19,000 US for the big battery pack, and Canadian is $22,000. Okay, and then when you look into the NX, so the NX, we started having the hybrid in the 2015 to 2021, the NX 300H, and uses uh, this part number about 3,500 or $4,000. Canadian for that replacement. Then we look into the second generation. So the second generation here. This one is actually a little bit interesting because I found different part numbers, which made me feel, okay, this is quite interesting. So the NX 350H 2022-2023, the whole battery is 3,365, but there is actually two sub assemblies. So within that battery pack, they actually have two I would say supply, like they have two parallel supply lines. So number one and number two. And these are the part numbers. So it seems like if one battery pack, within the one battery pack, if one of them are failing, they can actually replace just half of it. So here we are at the NX350H parts and accessories. So I go in here and try to find, okay, what else can I find here? So I don't want the parts. I'm just going to go back out. So I'm going to go here, NX, and you have the NX series. Just pick a 2024, okay, F Sport. Actually, I shouldn't pick F Sport because there's no hybrids there. So 2024, I'll just say base. All right, and now I can go here to look at the electrical. So in here, you can see different types of parts. You can see we have battery and cable. So I'm going to click here, battery and cable. Then you see this is actually the large battery. This is the NX 450H Plus battery. But if you go into here, you would actually be able to see different types of diagrams. And this diagram is actually the smaller battery. So this is the G9510 assembly part number. So when you click on that, it gets you there and it gets you to this $3,365.69. All right. But then when you pick on this, you would actually then see that they have sub-assemblies. So these sub-assemblies are actually up here. And so if I scroll back up, you would then see here we have one assembly here and another assembly here. And these are the two assembly batteries that will fit into here from what I see here. So when you click on that, you see drive motor battery, $3,000. And then there's another one which is here, which is another $3,000. So I don't know how this works. It feels like this is one big battery pack, another one, another one. And they don't explain what they mean. So I just put them here for reference. I don't know, does this mean that you have to buy all three, which means it's about $10,000. And which then when you look at the RX 350H, the $10,000 totally makes sense. Um, I think we'll need information from parts department to really understand, is this $10,000 or $3,000? And that will do. So now let's move on and come back into the NX. So the NX 450H Plus. I've also seen cases where we have here, the 2022 to 2024 NX 450H Plus. In Canada, it's actually $21,000 for the battery. For US, I found the same part number for $10,000. But then I also found in parts.lexus.com and also uh, a local dealership in for a Toyota, which is for the RAV4 Prime. And they actually said that this 31 model part number actually replaces the 30. And they gave us a $13,000 of price. And then when I went to parts.lexus.com, it showed 18,000. 
which then is very similar to the RX 450H plus number. So then now let's move down to the UX. So UX, there's only one generation and the hybrid for this part number, it seems $2,750 for the battery assembly pack and $3,500 for in Canada. And it doesn't seem like there's another change in the battery pack yet. Then we look at the CT200H, which has stopped production 2021 to 2020, uh, 2017, $2,588 versus $3,300 Canadian. Seems quite reasonable. So in some ways, when you look at it, this car has been out since 2011, 2017, and then really not many people have actually needed to change that battery yet. 21 would be 10 years. So 20... 27 when the CT needs a battery change would this actually be much cheaper really don't know all right then we have the 2010 to 2012 HS 250h you may have forgotten about this car but yes there was a hybrid so three thousand three hundred sixty five and four thousand dollars for the battery in Canada in Canada now we look into the ES so 2013 to 2015 ES three thousand five hundred forty one 2016 to 18 same price different part numbers and then 2019 to 2023 i have an asterisk in 2023 because i don't know if they've changed it or not it the, the site actually just says up to 2022 but just to get a number a roughly three thousand three hundred dollars so roughly three thousand ish dollars to get the hybrid battery changed all right, and then we go down to the GS, the GS 2013 and 28 and 2008, so two different generations. It's the same price, about 5,000 US and about 6,000 Canadian. Okay, so the LS is a little bit interesting. So the LS, we have the 600 HL, which is the longer wheelbase 600. And you look at the prices, about same price as the GS. So similar pricing in those older batteries all right so 20, 2008 to 2023 you can see here we have two parts there's a sub-assembly battery and a main battery so i don't know enough about the ls to provide what this means but it looks like six thousand plus three thousand so nine thousand dollars all right and if you actually know more about it let me know in comments below what it should be and then when you look at 2022 and 2023, similar. They have a different part and a, a part that starts with 2.8, but now it's increasing in price. This is like a $15,000, $16,000 battery packs. Then 2018, the LC500, similar deal. And then the 2024 LC also gets a $7,000 one. So I don't know if the LC would actually have another $7,000 one, similar to the LS, because it seems like they follow the same trend. All right, now moving down to the battery electric. We can see here we have the RZ450E. I'm surprised when I looked at that 70 kilowatt battery pack, 19,500 and 26,000. So I'm not sure if this is correct, but that's what I got for the RZ450E. There may be different packs I'm not aware of, but that's what I've seen at this point. Then we move over to the BZ4X. So I've also looked at the Toyota partsdirect.ca and this Toyota X parts. And it looks like the pricing is about 21,000. So it's similar to the BZ, like the RZ450E in pricing. If you, especially when you look at the Canadian prices, they're actually exactly the same. But shockingly, uh, when I look at the Subaru Solterra and you look at the same part number and this is coming from parts.subaru.com it's saying that the battery replacement is 51,000 so I don't know what to believe at this point so when you look at the Subaru one it is quite aligned with the Hyundai Ionic battery pack the pricing seems to be 51,000 so I'm not sure about the BC4X if it really is $21,000 all right, so now let's look at the Prius Prime. 2017-2018 Prius Prime is actually $2,750. Quite cheap for a battery pack for a Prime vehicle. 2012-2015 Prius Plug-in, before they called it a Prime, I found reference for $9,980. Then we look at the Corolla. 
hybrid 2020-2022, about 2750. 2016-2018 Prius. So you can see here, same price. So it looks like they're sharing the same battery pack. Then we look at the 2021-2023 RAV4 Prime. So again, I found this price as a discounted price, and then this is the Canadian price. But then I found that, okay, we have a new part number, and now it's 18,000 and 13,000. And this is actually coming from a Toyota dealership. So 13,442 Canadian. So prices are everywhere. So I really don't know what to believe and if there's any other things that we need to look at to, to actually look at the pricing. So this is my attempt to look at, okay, how of a shocking will you not get when it comes to getting your battery replaced for your hybrid vehicle or your plug-in hybrid or your battery electric vehicle. So there we have it. If you look at the pricing from a hybrid st standpoint, you're talking about 5000 dollars roughly but then when you look at plug-in hybrids you're talking about eighteen thousand to twenty thousand dollars it looks like but i found references that either the pricing has gone down or the pricing is just incorrect so when you look into the bz4x the battery electric vehicles the rz450e and the solterra it's everywhere it's ranging from ten thousand dollars to fifty one thousand dollars and this is in US dollars. So I don't know what to believe. It does seem like the battery packs are cheaper, but it could also mean that I'm missing a different part as well. The Solterra number, with the same part number in, from the Solterra website, comparing to the Toyota website, is light and day. So I really don't know why the pricing is such a big difference. And hopefully these prices will go down because there's no way that you're going to be paying $20,000 for a new battery pack. So let's see what it means. But when you look into the Ionic issues, insurance definitely would say no way. If you're going to pay $50,000, $60,000 for a battery replacement, and when you look into the Solteria situation, it would be exactly the same. As I said before, this is my Google searching for how much the battery packs are going to cost. I may be totally off track. This is totally wrong. This is not how it should be done. Um, we should probably get information from Toyota on exactly how much and what part numbers are involved. Maybe I only have one part number and you actually need all three, four part numbers and they all add up to more expensive pricing. I really don't know. So there we have it. Hopefully that you found that this video was informative and until next video, drive safely. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please comment, like, share this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel and press that bell icon to get notified when new videos are posted. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can provide me a super thanks. And until next time, cheers.